Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Dialogue in Windtown maybe is different. Is it oh, is it looking good? Is it really? Oh that well that's silent Chris in a nutshell. <laughs> oh, well, uh what? Then why'd you say oh? I mean there's gotta be some reason. Oh, oh, I see. Well maybe that's uh <laughs> Well, I, I kind of have the expectation based on the other peeps in the game. Oh, and I checked ahead of time this time. There's no one upstairs with new dialogue, so I don't have to go up there and burn your time. I just thought I would do it ahead of time this time just to see. And I'm not going to talk to the leader here until the time is right. Uh, Snorlax, yes, yes, we've heard about that, but uh, we've never actually seen it. It always happens off camera. <laughs> Uh, what do you have to say here? Yeah, something... Entombed internal Pokemon, what? Oh, that's something that I would like to... No, it's okay, it's okay you can tell me that. I'm trying to finish my browser after all. So, yes, yes, moving on. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? Mm, yes, they went bye-bye indeed. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Just stick by the fireplace and play some Pokemon Ranger or something like that. <laughs> mm, that is good. <laughs> and yes, it is. <laughs> I didn't pick it up and it still went she 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 so maybe it maybe it just does that when you touch it or something like that I don't know I don't know <laughs> anyway going in mm, well no I, I mean she wouldn't be a ranger if she was mm, see yeah that's just not what I thought <laughs> Ooh, that's nice A little backstory there on her Mm, yeah, I I would no, well, okay. <laughs> I I guess you got me there. <laughs> and now for this little ledge as usual. Hey guy, hi, hi. What what what? Uh, oh. <laughs> well, maybe you should just go chat with her. I'm sure she'd be okay with it. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm, oh what? Mm, mm? Wait a second, aren't you the Gorok Squad guy? Yeah, I, th I think you are. I think. I think. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the sprites offhand, but I, I'm kind of drawing a blank. But I think that is him. You know, the one that was there. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> hmm. Really now? Really now? That is a int oh, that is an interesting little tip there, and I didn't really mean to click on you. I just kind of touched my hand off the board. But anyway, that is all the peeps of the town, and since I've got to do preparations, I think you know what's coming. Fly over to Fall City. Go grab this Blaziken, you should be probably very used to this by now. Release some Pokemon to make some room. Get all the Pokemon from the dojo. Fly back to Wind Town and get your Styler recharged if need be. <laughs> So, I got all the Pokemon that I need for my trek through the range, so let's get a move on now. As I said, I'm going to talk to leader girl Alita there later on when the time is right, so I'm just going to leave her for now. And I'm going to head up to the range. Now, there is a po water Pokemon that I could have grabbed too, but my party's kind of full. And I'm going to end up using one along the way anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like, see, there's a couple of Poliwhirl that I could grab. Just any water Poke... Pfft. Any water Poke Assist out in the field will do, and uh, you you will be uh, uh, you will be a uh, happy camper with that. But uh, I just gotta sort of kind of get my way through here, namely to this spot right here. Remember that? Remember that? I am gonna blast that wall to infinity and beyond. <laughs> and inside here. Did I just click on the Machamp on mistake? I think I did. Anyway, it is a Kangaskhan! Yes! I love its animation when it attacks too. Watch us. Look at the baby. It hides behind the mom when it does that beam. And then it goes back in the pouch. <laughs> a very easy one to catch, but still something that we gotta catch. And it does have the 
triple smashy smash two, so maybe I didn't need to get this many uh, Pokemon up from the dojo, but that is okay. It was all off camera, so I didn't burn your time at all. Uh, I do want that Poliwhirl now, uh, if I can get it, but this might be kind of dicey. Kind of, maybe. Yeah, kind of. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go get another Poliwhirl. It's just too crowded over there. Hey, Poliwhirl. Yes, you behind the tree. I know. No, no, no. Don't go in the water. No, 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 no water. Please. Uh, Aha. Well, Kulava's cool not nearly as intrusive as Arbok is, so I'm, I can probably pull it off now. Oh, unless I fail my timing. Well, I can go for Quilava right now. There we go. I'm gonna have to release some Pokemon, of course, but... Uh, oh, I can't. Well, I, I could probably circle around. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I, have, I have the line length now. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could do that, and I can. But yeah, I gotta release some stuff, so I'm gonna go for, I guess, Kangaskhan... And the Quilava, there it goes. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna see if I can get past that Arbok without ire. Ooh, I'm out of its range. Oh! <laughs> There's Pokemon attacking everywhere. Alright, now, um, I don't believe there's anything new down that way. So I'm gonna just flutter on down the shortcut way and grab an Altaria, which I do believe is hanging out... No, wait, wait, hold on a sec. Is it around...? No, because I need the Altaria, and I don't remember if I need to go all the way around to get it, or if it's over hanging around here... Oh, mm. I think it's hanging around here, actually, but uh, we'll see in just a second. Which, which foresty area... Oh, this isn't the one, because, yeah, this is the burned one, so I should probably go flutter back along the other way. Uh, is this tree back up, or is it- Ah, oh, poopers! I need to go back around! Run, 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 Okay. <laughs> so I'm on the left route now, you know, the non-Snorlax blocked route at one point. And this will eventually lead me to the Altaria, just as long as I don't get into too much trouble along the way. Oh shoot, that's the wrong way. Dang it, dang it, dang it, I'm forgetting the whole route all over the place. This is just sad. <laughs> But yeah, where is that? You just had to run in my line, didn't you? Now, why, why would you do that when it seemed like you were running away from me? Now, I just don't understand. I don't understand. But what I do understand is that I need the Altaria from this spot here. And it's somewhere around here, I assure you. There is the Fluffer. Hey, Fluffer, Fluffer, Fluff, Cotton, yeah! <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this. Just wait for it to do its all fogginess. Go all foggy, there we go, and then it gets all slow, and then I'll be able to see just barely where it is, and then I can capture it. All right, now that I got that, I will release something again, I guess. <laughs> and level up, happy days, yeah, woo! <laughs> I gotta probably level up sooner if I wasn't running from battles all the time, but anyway, I'm gonna release Medicham because I don't think I need that many fighting Pokémon for what we're going to encounter. So anyway, I'm gonna go see you back over that burned forest type area. That Arbok is virtually impossible to avoid. <laughs> And we're at the burn forest area! Is Snorlax still sleeping? Of course it's still sleeping. That thing will we'll never be able to see that thing up ever, I swear. <laughs> so anyway, past the forest. Now there's, we're gonna see a couple of new st stuff and stuff here that we haven't seen before that is now here because, you know, it's kind of post point, I mean, past the point that it would have happened, so... If you go over here, you'll see a couple Larvitar. See, that's where they're hanging out now. I don't need them, of course. I just want to show you that they're there. But the main reason why I'm coming up here... Is, uh, mm, well, I do need a Tangela, but not right now. My party has got the right Pokémon that I need, so I'm <laughs> gonna grab those later. But yeah, first, I guess I'll clear out this. There we go. So this is why I brought the fighting Pokemon from the dojo. And the uh, Fire Blaziken, I mean Triple Fire Blaziken, will uh, come in handy very shortly too. 
And Altaria, this is the only Pokemon I know of in the game that you can grab that has triple gust field move there. And I'm gonna use it on this mysterious, very large flower, and it's actually a vile plume! Who would have guessed? And now we can grab it. Because <laughs> remember, before, uh, the vi I mean, the, the Altaria, when we captured it before, it was angered by the Gorok squad, so. We weren't really able to keep it in our party, you know, we captured it and then it was automatically released. Well, now we can actually hold on to it in our party. And there we go, Vile Plume has been added to the browser, heck yeah! Get up, uh, I need the Poliwhirl, Poliwhirl for this, Poliwhirl for this, thank you. Yeah, as, as I said, any sort of water field move will do, it's just that, you know, Poliwhirl is there, so I just grab that one. And we're just clearing out our party like no one's business now. <laughs> Mario sound. <laughs> At least that's how I visualize it. Oh, by the way, did I ever click on the flower to see its... Uh, it's blooms in secluded spots and grows the world's biggest flower. I was expecting something to be funnier off of that, because they're apparently kind of stinky-ish, but maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to break this open. Yeah, this is a triple, triple smash wall here, so... Bye-bye it goes, and uh, there we go, Woo! and going in. Now look out for the Ghastly in here, they're just there to mess with your Pokemon more than anything, and I'm gonna go with Blaziken really, really quick, oh shoot, well, hopefully this won't matter. <laughs> I'll just try and grab it, let's see, try and interrupt it before something happens. Yeah! All four of them in a single battle, oh jeez, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, well, as long as I run from it, it should be okay, probably, but I don't know... I don't know if the thing will be... You know, it'll still be capturing the Pokémon that it was capturing. And I couldn't tell what it was capturing anyway, it was, was kind of overlapping everything. <laughs> oh, I got two. Ah, oh, so close! Oh, sh oh, you phased out of existence at the most inopportune time. Ah, mm. Come on, one more. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, I'm done here. Uh, I don't need to release them or anything, I guess. I'm just gonna head out uh, over here and... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> I think you know! Oh yes, it's the last of the Reggies! Reggie Rock! Let's do this! And that's why I got the last Hariyama there, just in case. Let's see how things go, though, without a Poké Assist first, though. It might just go incredibly well, and it did! <laughs> because this is the easiest one of the three. And there we go! <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like this one just gives you a lot more opportunity than the other ones that capture it, so that's what makes it so much easier IMO. And there we go, um... Uh, uh, you know what? I don't want to go through the ghastly gauntlet again. So, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just do that one, and then release the ghastly when I get outside. Okay, okay. Um, now you heard from that guy over back at the village that the Gorok Squad headquarters, while blown up, still exists. So. We gotta go check that out, because apparently there's some Pokémon hanging out around there? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was gonna release Pokémon. Uh, <laughs> there we go, Ghastly, 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 Ghastly! There we go, and I'm just gonna grab the two Tangelas over oh, oh, over here, and then I'll see you at the Gorok Squad. Because yeah, like there's one here, and then there's one right past the, the transition point uh, in front of the waterfall. You can't miss it. And here we are! Believe it or not, the boulder elevator still works! Awesome! By the way, um, remember that Absol, uh, yeah, back at the cave? I forgot to grab that, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to flop back over and get that, but that's okay. Everything is peachy keen. It's not that far of a walk or anything like that. I just like to try and get through this hilariously demolished Gorok Squad headquarters. There's Tyranitar hanging out over here and now. It's pretty slow, so it's, uh, well, I was gonna say, as long as it butts its head into the walls, pretty easy to avoid. Oh! You're gonna do that right off the start, weren't you? Weren't you? Weren't you? <laughs> 
So yeah, I notice that there's a lot of uh, Beldum and Matang hanging out in here. Did you notice? Did you notice that? Oh no, you don't. <laughs> well, there's one thing that we haven't come across. A Metagross, you know, the final evolution of that evolutionary line? Yeah, we have never come across that. How is that possible? Well, it's in here and it's coming out. <laughs> it's quite a beast to catch too, so it'll be be pretty interesting to pull off. Ah, there we go. The ghost Pokemon will help against it a little bit, maybe, 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 but I'm not- I don't think I really need the ghost Pokemon for it. It's just a matter of practice and timing. There you are! And, aw, uh, one Bellum got in with it, that's okay. Well, there it is, and see if I can... Uh... I don't really care if you beam, just as long as that Bellum gets away from you. <laughs> just want to get the Bellum first, ah! <laughs> is that too much to ask? You've got too many assistants. Yeah! Wait, 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 wait! Okay, got that one. Now, I want to focus on the Metagross. It's got a lot of circles, but it's entirely possible to- Oh, shoot! Oh! It's entirely possible to do without any sort of assist, and I made my circles a little too- Oh, okay. Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, I touched it! But yeah, if I, if I can't get it this way, I'll just use the Ghost Poke Assist. And, but we'll see how things go, I guess. Come on, shoot, 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 and go, go, go! Oh, I touched you again, dang it! And he'll eventually run, too, so that's kind of an issue. But let's see if I'll be able to do it. Ah! I touched it again. And it's not that difficult to avoid, too. I mean, it's... I mean, I know it's large, but... It's just that it's... The thing about it is that it's not really... Like... I don't want to say aggressive, but un more like unpredictable. <laughs> it's just a thing of it. You got to do the circles in between the uh, the beam of death here, and uh, no, I did the release early. How could I have done that? No! <sighs> well, I released early. That's how I guessed. <laughs> eh, come on, let's finish this off once and for all. Yes. No Poké Assist needed! <laughs> I wouldn't say it's that overwhelming, I still managed to catch it. Anyway, I gotta get myself out of here and go and grab that Absol now. Sorry, sorry! Oh yeah, on my way back here, this is the waterfall area. If you hop down here, you'll see some Pupitar. Just hanging out, having a good time, but that's really all there is to see left over here at the Sekiro range. I can't believe I realized that when I was all the way up at the top of the whole mountain that I forgot the Avasol in this cave. <laughs> but it's also, uh, also I forgot to mention, it's kind of hilarious that the save point didn't get blown up with the Gorok Squad's headquarters as well, because did you notice that it was all intact and okay and all usable and stuff like that? Likely for the Metagross battle, but still, you know, it's the whole thing of that it, 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 was, it didn't get blown up somehow. It's, it's virtually indestructible, even the light was working on it. That thing did not have a scratch on it at all. <laughs> Alright, now over here... This was the place that had the Absol that I totally passed up, if I do recall correctly. Uh, I just want to go and see here. Yeah, I go through here, and this over here it is. There we go. There's the Absol. I can't believe I forgot about you. I, I feel so sad about that. Yeah, so it's got after images similar to the whole... Psychic ghastly haunted range, but it's pretty easy because it only takes five circles to catch as long as you've got a fast circling hand You will be pleased I, I don't think it could really cut through everything in all in all honesty. I mean could it cut? Through those rock walls that are breakable only I don't think so 
I don't think so. Alright, now with the browser at 208 Pokemon, I am going to end off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next parts when uh, I may or may not finish that browser. Ho 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 ho, are you excited? Are you excited? You better be, it's gonna be epic!